Good morning and welcome to another day of grocery shopping. It's about to be a new year and that means I consider that today's shopping to the fall in January. We are doing a healthy produce filled grocery shopping for some healthy eating habits in the new year. I'm not even driving. <laughs> and yes, I am wearing a hat today because it is 10 degrees outside. I did add all of the items I wanted to get off of my list today to a Walmart grocery pickup and it was a little higher than I wanted it to be and I knew I could get some of these items cheaper because Smith's has some sales on some of the items I need and I wanted to go to Winco because they have these amazing bulk bins where I can get bulk items for cheaper and then measure out like the amount that I need instead of having too much on some certain specific items like almond flour. I didn't want to go to Sam's and get a huge five pound bag of it. That's what we're doing. Come along with us today and we will see you in the store. We're early enough to where there's basically nobody here. So excited. Oh, come on. <laughs> Avocados, yes please. Okay, this is like the most I have ever seen in the clearance section. It's like they just dumped everything. And I don't want those mushrooms, but I do want these peppers. So I'm gonna dig in here and get a bunch of these peppers out of here. You do have to look at them because sometimes they are a little rotten. So are you willing to pay a dollar to cut off one little spot? You know, that's up to you. This is the one thing I always look for when I come to the bread bakery thing. And when it's here, I get them all. <laughs> they freeze really, really nicely. Yes! Man, I haven't seen these in so long. Man, bagels, 80 cents? Those look really good. And I often find gluten-free stuff on the clearance, the, the bakery clearance rack. <gasps> Ooh, I'm not even gluten-free, but I'm tempted to get that because pita bread at $1.64 is good no matter who you are. Mm, we're getting full. I may have needed a bigger cart. <laughs> you just stack it on top and keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, but you know, looking at it now, it's kind of like, how the, how the heck did I do that? Right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sitting there. I saw you walk up. I'm like, oh, she's got a little one. How's it going back there? Oh, the bag got caught on my zipper. <laughs> And it's ripping. <laughs> Oops. I'm telling you, on stock up days, I should really probably <laughs> get a bigger cart. <gasps> Next up, Winco. <laughs> it burns my throat. <laughs> tomato sauce. It's a new one for me. Fire roasted tomatoes. Bad news, folks. She found a deal. <laughs> I did not find, listen, I did not find a deal, okay? My Walmart has bumped the price of eggs to like $10 for a five dozen container, and here they're $4.48 for a five dozen container, okay? It's half the price of the bump that Walmart did. So I need to get some eggs. Okay. <laughs> We're back from the store and here is everything that I picked up today. I am sitting right at $100, just a hair under actually, probably $96, $95, $96. I'll put the total right here for you for my grocery shopping today. This should feed us for about three weeks or so based on what I already have and the meal plans that I am planning on putting together. I'll start over here on the right at Winco and the rest is Smith's. We have a bunch of leftover ham, so I grabbed these hash browns to make a ham and potato casserole, cabbage to 
to make a the quick Korean barbecue that I really like from damndelicious.net. Four zucchini, bunch of lemons, two bunches of cilantro. This is almond flour, but my bag ripped. Ground coriander, this only costs seven cents. Pepper jack cheese that I'm going to shred and mix with some cheddar for a recipe. Ricotta, fresh basil, two containers of eggs, one head of cauliflower that I am going to try and rice myself, and four cans of tomatoes, two petite dice, and two tomato sauce. And that is everything I grabbed at Winco. Uh, for those that don't have a Winco in your area, it's a little like Aldi in the fact that it's cheaper, you have to bag your own groceries, they don't take credit cards, but I would say Aldi probably has better prices on a lot of stuff. But it's, it's the best I can do in my area since I don't have an Aldi anywhere close to me, unfortunately. Everything else is at Smith's. Most of this stuff is on clearance and on sale. My meal plan required boneless, skinless chicken thighs, but those were like $2.99 a pound. So I picked up this skin on bone in chicken thighs. I'm gonna take the skin off myself and just leave the bone in. It came down to 74 cents a pound, which is a lot better. And I needed a pork roast. I'm doubling this recipe and I was very excited to find one marked down on clearance for 89 cents a pound. Bunch of clearance produce. These are all $1 per bag. So I have some cukes, yellow and zucchini squash, tons of peppers. I think like 11 bags of peppers. How cute is this bag of potatoes? I'm gonna stick them in the air fryer like right now. Clearance salsa, five avocados at 77 cents each. Sage, I liked the white bean Tuscan soup I made last time so much that I'm gonna make it again. Four bags of clearance salads, sweet kale and avocado ranch, two containers of Brussels sprouts, $1.89 each. This is a total of I think three pounds of Brussels sprouts. Eight of the Crystal Light Pure flavors. They were 99 cents a box today. Since I'm not on caffeine and I'm actually really enjoying the no artificial sweeteners or flavors and stuff, I really, really like this kind. They use stevia as the sweetener. And a ton of clearance bread. So excited about these. And just so you know, no, we're not eating all these in the next week. I'm putting a lot of these in the freezer and we'll kind of pick them out over the next month. We haven't had bagels in a while. I'm gonna be making fajitas with a lot of these peppers over here. 99 cents a bag when you bought three, so I grabbed three of these. French bread garlic breadsticks to go with the Tuscan soup, sliced artisan bread. I even got some gluten-free pita bread, just because it was a really good price. 55 cents for four croissant rolls, that's amazing. One, two, three, four, wait. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six containers of non Yes, I think I better be making butter chicken pretty soon. So here's everything I grabbed. I did scan my receipts with Ibotta and Fetch Rewards. I didn't get a ton back today, a couple bucks. I hope you enjoyed and you don't wanna miss my low carb friendly meal planning video that is coming up next.